All right, that story is also on the standard page 9 and the star on page 10. Now, once again, we're, he we are hearing the president say, you know, if you cannot work, then you better get ready to go home. But do you think this is actually the case? Will it be done if, in case this hospital is not built within a year, as he says? Mm -hmm. Kevin. Uh, two things. One, actually three things. One is about the legacy of His Excellency the President. Yes. He is keen to ensure that he leaves Kenyans feeling much more better than when he became the president. And this is, of course, uh, anchored on the history that this country has gone through. Mm -hmm. We've had enemies that have been common enemies to very many Kenyans, and one of uh, them have, uh, has been, of course, poverty. We have serious issues to do with healthcare, and that is why as part of the big four, which brings me to uh, the second issue, is healthcare. So His Excellency the President is keen to ensure that in every part of this country, there, are, there is infrastructure that will be able to meet the needs of the people, so that counties and national government are seen to be delivering those services. Okay. The third thing, which is probably the last one, is that for you to be able to secure a positive legacy, you cannot do it alone. And the principle of teamwork requires that you pull everyone. Those who want to be pulled will be pulled. Uh -huh. Within the path, you have laggards, you have quick learners, you have people who are just wait, seated there to wait and see. And the president is reading the Riots Act and saying, ladies and gentlemen, this is it, and it has to be like that like yeah. this, which is expected of any leader who wants to be able to be seen to be uh, championing change and of course uh, bringing a difference. And I am very sure that the cabinet secretaries that we have, because you also note that we were here when the vetting process was going on, mm -hmm. there are so many negative things that we said of almost each and every one of those cabinet secretaries, yes. but each of them has lots of positive attributes and elements, which I am very sure that the people that put together the, the, the team uh, with the wisdom of His Excellency the President as the appointing authority, then was very keen to be able to bring together all those differences and work together with the CSS to deliver the legacy. So I'm very sure that the people that the President is talking to are also not people who are not interested in the legacy. Otherwise, really, you have no business being there. Just leave office yeah. and allow other very exciting Kenyans, people who are willing and skilled to be able to deliver the, the legacy of the president to be able to do their work. Right. But having said that, you also expect that there are challenges of delivery. For instance, timelines, an ultra-modern health facility. Unless you want to do miracles here on Earth, it might be very difficult for that to happen in a year. But mm -hmm. then there are other factors, including resources, financial resources. And I'm very sure that with the big four, which is the agenda of the, of the present, there are lots of friends of Kenyans, development partners, and goodwill, uh, goodwilled people who would be able to come to be able to bring resources to put up this, in, in, uh, this, this kind of infra in infrastructure so that people can be able to benefit. By, uh, I'm, I'm excited about this. Yeah. I hope it is something that can be emulated by, by both national and county governments so that in every corner of this country, we have facilities that are able to meet the demands of the people because I think that is what Kenyans are really looking forward to. All right, Oliver. This is to be emulated mm -hmm. and every Kenyan citizen meaning well for this country, should help the president in each and every way, possible way mm -hmm. they can to make sure that we hold accountable those who have been bestowed in positions of leadership so that we get value for our money. The money we are talking about here, taxpayers' money, we are talking about very good programs, the Big Four, Vision 2030, and all these, they must be achieved for the purpose of the Kenyan man and woman. Yeah. The other thing that must also be said in equal measure is that President Uru Kenyatta has been consistent in doing certain things about issues of self-aggrandizement by those who are given leadership positions, mm -hmm. and he has done that since. He is he's on record as the only president who has sacked nearly a, a third of his cabinet on issues of of corruption, a fifth, not a third, on issues of corruption. And he did that on just allegation. Yeah. And we have seen him even during the swearing in, he was very categorical that anybody who will feel comfortable 
will yeah. be kicked out. So I think it is something that it's worth emulating. Yeah. And as we talk about if it is possible to build a, a hospital in one year, yes, it is yeah. possible. Yeah. The problem that we must address also in terms of even developing the Big Four agenda into fruition, we must address the issues of our bureaucracies in terms of the procurement law and the uh, never-ending court battles. You have a project today, you have a court order tomorrow. You, before you even, you even implement a project, yeah. the timelines for absorbing the money, the timeline is over. So I think we need to look into all this, but we must maintain the, and sustain the tempo by the president about fighting bad leadership, corruption, and all these other malfeasance 